Hello friends, in this subgeographer with the teaching and learning, uh, today uh, a cognitive skills in pedagogy playlist. I'll be adding another tutorial video uh, that will be explaining the second part of the cognitive skill. As you remember and you didn't watch yet the part one cognitive skill, please don't forget to watch the part one before going to the part two secondly those are uh, viewers who did not subscribe uh, this channel yet don't forget to subscribe for more videos i'll be appreciating for your suggestions and for your comments okay. so in this lesson i'll be telling you about the second part or the second domain of the cognitive skills which is really important and which is really impressing to me that all the learning system is depending on this domain or in this domain okay so let's see what is exactly that uh, that is the memory or memory now in previous lesson I have explained about the perception that how perception is the important domain of the uh, cognitive skills that everybody can think differently and uh, manipulate the information according to his her uh, interpretations and uh, perception for sort of thinking level of it. But in this, you know, the memory, this is kind of, you know, that the storage system, or I'll say it's a completely, uh, complete learning management system as we are right now dealing in the technology like uh, Microsoft, uh, like uh, uh, Schoology, like a uh, Google Classrooms, okay. These are a complete memory uh, system, learning systems, okay. But the thing is that, you know, uh, they are like a few things, okay. They are a bit different to the memory system. Now, memory is a complete uh, program, okay. Uh, which is consisting on stages, few stages, okay. Like, you know, if you want to revert the information, if you want to decode the information, if you want to store the information, if you want to manipulate the information, that you have all function in this unit. So, this memory, uh, this domain is in human's brain, okay, and it's consisting on the three stages. Like, what are these stages? As you can see on the screen, that these stages are... Uh, number one encoding number two storage and number three retrieval now I'll be explaining you that how these three uh, stages are interlinked and connected and how they are working now for example encoding encoding something that means the information you are transferring into the codes okay for example I'll give you that uh, I ask you know one of my friends that I'm hungry now, this is the information which I texted or which I WhatsApp, which I sent through the chat, okay. So, my friend replied to me, okay, what do you think? What, uh, should we get the pizza? Should we get the McDonald's? Should we get, like this one? So, he interpreted accordingly, you know. Second thing, you know, an example, which is a really good example, the credit card information, the MasterCard information, the PayPal information, and uh, the information of your debit card okay which is really impressing and this is a uh, encoded uh, information that nobody can share with some okay as anyone so this is really interesting okay while we are sharing the information with somebody that they have to decode it okay, first first manipulate it okay the second part which shows the storage now the storage of the memory is that uh, that what is going to the store in your brain and whenever it needs, okay, that you have to regain it. Now, how are you going to regain that information? That it depends on the view, depends on the perspective, okay. When you think about, you know, any objective or you land a 10 years before, okay, and the same circumstances you have dealt with, then you start keep thinking, okay. So, this is means something is already stored, but the some perspective, okay, the flashback, okay, they came and they review all the information, what exactly it happened before. So, it is, you know, uh, that something's already stored, something already you dealt with it, but there are some uh, circumstances, okay, which complete and that they enforce to restore the information. It's really good for 
while the students they are an assistant for example you have exam of mathematics you have exam of english you have exam of any subject okay now you cannot learn at the same at uh, same time but what you are going to you are going to recall your memory what you have learned before now that learning process actually it works through the storage it works through the your memory what you know you are trying to regain okay so these are the patterns or the data which has been stored in your memory and uh, you are utilizing okay the moment you need it okay so this is a uh, i think these are the good example for the storage memory now retrieval uh which you know uh, that we call it okay that uh, we can say recover we can say regain and how we going to regain okay which i have already uh, uh explained to you okay so these are the circumstances uh tensional uh, information that you going to retrieve okay you going to recover okay regain again okay? yes it's a recover so it has a three stages encoding storage retrieval okay and it has a different pattern it has a different data process okay so i believe it's a unsupervised you know learning system and it's a, a complete learning system it's a autonomous learning system it's a self learning system um, which is really a uh, really matters okay at every stage at every age of the learning okay and uh, the and finally i'll be telling you the types of the memory i'll not go more detail about you know these are these are the types okay the short term memory and the long term memory working memory and sensory memory okay there are also now uh, we call a test or smell memory okay but these are the main four types of the memory okay uh, which you can explore if you belongs to the medically if you belongs to okay anything you can know, or if i got found you know something are uh, really relative with this i'll be sharing with you so guys this was about you know part 2 cognitive skills memory and uh, what are the stages of the memory which i have explained you what are the types of the memory and how these stages gonna use uh, or any individual use in his or her life in order to understand the perspective decode the information use the restores and manipulate and the uh, regain the information i hope that you like that okay so if you want more video for uh pedagogy don't forget to subscribe this channel okay we'll be meeting in the next lesson till that uh bye have a good day